Coach, first off, congratulations. Big win for you guys last Friday night against Hamburg, and it secured an 8-4A conference title. Um, do you think you guys matured somewhat last Friday night? Oh, I think so. You know, I thought that uh, you know getting down 17 to six, and then, and then was able to come back and really you know blow them out in the second half. Showed a lot of character for our football team. Showed how much they've improved as far as the the mental aspect of it of not you know even though they're down, not to give up, not to you know just keep playing every play. And I thought Drake Jones came in and did a great job of leading us. Uh, he played he played probably one of his better games as a lumberjack. Uh, I thought he played with a, a big sense of urgency, which was something that he hadn't been doing and. I uh, was really pleased with his performance uh, and, and really excited about it for him because he's been great through all this. Uh, as you just mentioned, you did go down um, into the half, well, down. What was your message at the half? What turned things around? Oh, we just got to keep playing. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't think we played very well at times in the first half. I thought we shot away from some contact chances uh, in the first half that we'd not been doing. And, um, and then we came out in the second half and really – really adjusted to what they were doing defensively and, and, and a lot of that was what Drake did for us. You know, he came in and was able to run the football, did a lot of read stuff, zone read stuff, and, and then we hit some couple big plays and, and then Calais just ran the football hard and did defensively we played outstanding. We didn't give up a first down until the last drive of the second half and, um, you know, our defense didn't play bad in the first half. We just put them in some bad situations and then we gave up a couple big plays that we haven't been giving up. You hate to be down at any point, whether that be in a game or, or throughout the season, just dropping a few. But uh, do you think that going down into the half uh, with the score where it stood at the time, do you think it lit a fire? Oh, I think it did. I think that, you know, something happened at halftime. Uh, you know, we we don't want to do that, but at the same time, when you're when you that's going to happen, adversity is going to happen throughout the football season or throughout a football game, and, and that reveals character more than anything is, is, is how you're going to handle that adversity. Are you going to just – you know, give up and, and throw the tally in, or are you going to fight? And I thought our kids really fought the other night and came back and, and really played probably as good a football as we've played in a long time around here in, in, in the last two quarters. Kind of touched a little bit on the impact that Drake had. Talk a little bit more about Kalei Cox. I mean, every game he seems to have some type of an impact somewhere. Yeah, he's our workhorse. You know, we're going to set everything up through the run. Uh, he knows that. Uh, He's got to touch the ball 20, 25 times a game, and and we're able to do that. And when he's running the ball good, it opens everything else up around him. And I think that uh, he's probably one of the better backs in the state of Arkansas. He's probably one of the better backs we've had here at Warren, and he's only a sophomore. And I think he's right at 1,300, 1,400 yards already as a sophomore. And that's after having 11 or 1,200 last year. And uh, he just opens up everything that we want to do offensively. A good bit of the season during our live streamcast, one of the names that we hear a lot of, is Kendrick Newton, Kendrick Newton, big tackle after big tackle. But you had some other names step up this week defensively. All right, we did. Uh, D'Angelo McCoy, a ninth grader, led us in tackles this week with 11. Uh, and then Kendrick was second with 10. And then Tyler Barnett was, was third with nine. So that tells you that our linebackers are making a lot of tackles, which is good for our defensive front. That means we're keeping guys off our linebackers. And that's what the defensive line want to do with uh, – with, uh, uh, Drake Jones, LaFoy Smith, uh, Aaron Church, and Michael Tyler had an outstanding ball game, especially in the second half of, of, of fitting right and keeping uh, keeping our them big linemen off for our linebackers and letting them go make tackles. And our linebackers did a great job of, of, of going the right fits and, and making tackles. All right, goal one of the season, it's it's already happened now. You've got All the right. conference title. you still got Lake Village coming up Thursday, and I'm sure you guys don't want to don't lose the undefeated chance of going unbeaten in conference play. Right. You know, we've kind of backed off a little bit this week just because of injuries and trying to get some guys healthy or get some guys that's been beat up healthy. We're going to play a lot of kids tomorrow night. And uh, that, that's our main goal is to play a lot of kids and, 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 and come out of it healthy. Uh, I mean, you know, right now it really don't mean mean much. And looking more looking down the road, which we have, uh, since we've already wrapped up the conference, we got a tough road in the playoffs. You know, our first-round opponent beat Stuttgart last week 28-7. to So, you know, that's some, you know, we're going to have a tough, tough road in the playoffs, and we've got to be fully healthy, and we've got to be, uh, be ready to play. What's the news on uh, new injuries or updates to old injuries? Uh, we, we, we didn't suffer any injuries. Uh, Calix had surgery last Friday, went well. Uh, he's, you know, he's, he's out for the year, and then uh, Daquan uh, is still out, uh, and he's not probably not close to coming back right now. Uh, he's not, he's not recovering as hope, as quick as we thought he would. Uh, we were hoping he would. Uh, it was it was a bad, bad break when he did it, and we knew that. And it's just taking him longer than, than what we expected for him to come back. Again, Coach, uh, a little bit shorter interview today than usual, but 
We want to keep it short. You got short week, so <laughs> <laughs> congrats on winning eight four A. And right. again, game on Thursday night this week. Right, you got to go to Lake Village on Thursday night, which is. Something that, that we like as a coaching staff because uh, we get to go scout on Friday night. We get to go long up Friday night and watch them and Clinton play and uh, just go and hopefully take care of business and keep everybody healthy Thursday night. You got a young ball club. You have won a conference title, but and I know that the, there's been a few naysayers out there who, who are not sure this team uh, is, is quite mature enough to get to a state championship, but I'm sure you believe that, and I think there's a chance. Well, you know, you look at 4A football, and I think everybody's pretty much uh, – you know, equal or not equal, but you know, you can probably throw five or six, seven teams in a hat and pull one out, and that's who's going to win it. And and anybody can get hot and and, and play well and, and in the playoffs and make a run. And our kids are young, but we've improved so much, and and we're getting better. We're we'll get better from from last week to this week just because of you know you look at the quarterback situation. We got two good quarterbacks. We got three real good quarterbacks with Darby on and Justin and Drake, and 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 one of them's going to be hot. Hopefully, you know, every Friday night one of them's going to be hot. And last Friday night it was Drake and. I hope he improves and keeps keeps getting better and plays like he did last Friday night. At the same time, Justin, you know, he's gonna keep working and and keep doing the things that he does. And and you know, both of them gives us a different type of situation offensively. Then when you bring Darby on in, uh, it gives a whole different element to it. So, you know, we're excited about where we're at as a football team. Uh, you know, our goal is to win a state championship, and um, and we got a chance. You know, anytime you get in the state uh, state playoffs and. Uh, we're number one seed, and we get to play at home a couple games if we can, if we're fortunate enough to win. And we just got to keep doing what we do. And and if we do that and play like we did in the second half the other night, we can beat a lot of football teams. Well, good luck Thursday night. Let's keep everybody healthy. <laughs> All right, thank you.